Welcome back to Film Room with head coach Kevin O'Connell. And coach, congratulations. Another road victory. Those are always sweet. Yeah, they're always sweet. And uh, meant, that meant that win meant a lot for a lot of folks on our team, on our coaching staff. Got a lot of folks that used to work for the commanders. So uh, coach or play, uh, it, uh, it meant a lot to a lot of us. But uh, some really good plays to take a look at uh, from this past week's game. And uh, it was good to get this guy back in the end zone. I, I, yep. I joked with him after this one. Uh, that it was good to see he remembered what to do when he when he uh, when he does score, uh, but uh, this was a this is a great play to start with because you see uh, really how the commanders were going to try to defend us in the red zone kind of led us into getting to the play call we did later on that we'll show uh, of Dalvin Cook catching a big touchdown in the game. But first drive, like we've done many times this year, we kind of work the ball methodically down the field. We're down here on a second down, just really trying to call a completion type play uh, where Justin's going to. Uh, be on the corner route and then our new addition TJ is going to have a chance uh, to run basically a, a variation of a double out cut right here. Kirk's going to have his eyes uh, really on, C, uh, on uh, TJ first uh, but what you'll see is the commanders did a good job of matching this whole concept out. And JJ's going to inside release. We really don't get any kind of pick or a rub right there. TJ ends up kind of occupying that underneath zoning defender but they have the ability now like we get a lot of times in the red zone to have a two on one on Justin so he's got tough leverage he's working against right here but what I want you guys to notice is what he does at the top and then take a look at this when Kirk starts his arm Justin's not even out of that cut right there and Kirk is just going to throw this thing really to a spot back here in the end zone knowing that uh, we got a, one of the best receivers in football, if not the best, that's going to go get this thing uh, for a touchdown. Also take note of the fact that we've got a clean pocket against a really good front. Uh, you don't throw touchdowns like this and place the football like Kirk does right here without those guys up front. And then as you see it, just unbelievable ball skills and reaction to go up and get that ball by Justin. It was good to get him back in the end zone. The other thing I want to make note of right here, and this is where uh, we gave TJ Hawkinson a game ball, shows up, nine targets, nine receptions. Uh, we gave his position coach, Brian Angelico, a game ball. But the one thing Coach Ange missed in his you know, uh, you know, minute to minute, wall to wall coaching was when Justin Jefferson catches a touchdown, you gotta give him his space. You'll see TJ come over here and, and that's the Cardinal sin around here, closing the space on the gritty and then even more so trying to do your own variation side by side, the gritty master himself. Uh, we had fun with that in the team meeting yesterday. It's hard to improve on perfection. It's just an incredible route running and in the red zone, it just all gets magnified. Everything gets tighter. You got to find those little angles and, and, and available grass to you. Uh, it'll be a good one to talk about here in, in, a, in a couple minutes with Dalvin's touchdown, but we never get to that point without the defense making some timely stops. We could have shown Harrison Smith's third week in a row with an interception, uh, but I thought it was really important that we highlighted Caleb Evans. You know, Cam Dantzler goes down. Uh, he comes in and plays 40 plus snaps. And in this case, this is a critical fourth and one in the game. Commanders in our territory, they can be aggressive just outside of what maybe they considered field goal range. Uh, they're going to go for it on a fourth and one right here uh, and attempt to essentially do a, a variation of a roll pass, which a lot of people do against our defense, thinking that they might be able to get this uh, halfback to kind of outflank us right there. Patrick Peterson is going to do a great job matching that. You'll see the corner route right here over the top. Like he's been so many times this year, Harrison Smith in a perfect location to, to try to take away that throw. And it's great to see like, Harrison's actually pointing, right? He, he, know, like, he knows what's coming. Oh, these guys were available. Yeah, they were amazing. ready. And, and, and really what concerned me as soon as I saw the play was knowing that Terry McLaurin was on the backside running what's essentially kind of a low cross. You see it on keepers, roll passes just like this. Uh, but watch it, Caleb stay connected to one of the best receivers in football. I love Terry McLaurin. Uh, he's sudden, he's explosive, he's strong, and Caleb's able to play through his hands. Let's just watch it one more time uh, as you see him uh, kind of mirror this route. He kind of recognizes exactly what he's going to get, and then like a veteran gets in his low hips because he knows McLaurin's got some juice to run away from, so he has to try to close that angle yeah. and then try to make a play on the football when it gets there, and that's exactly what he does. Huge play uh, by a young player stepping in to help us out. What we tell the, the, the younger players out there is if there's separation, don't look at the quarterback because you don't run with your head look you, you 
dial in and try to close that That's exactly that gap. right, because you know the quarterbacks at this level, uh, they're going to put it in a place where if you don't get to that exact spot, uh, you're not going to have a, a chance to touch the football. And then, obviously, uh, a big part of the game was Dalvin Cook's touchdown uh, you know, catch. And what are you going to notice again here? Same type of defensive structure where you're going to have those two safeties uh, back there ready to help and, and possibly help on any inbreakers. We've got Justin inside kind of at this number three route, and he got his touchdown, out, a touchdown already. So now it's time for him to eat up some coverage. <laughs> and why you go get a guy like TJ Hawkinson is in this moment, uh, they really they have a couple decisions they want to make. Do they leave him single covered on the backside or do they want to take both of these defenders and essentially double TJ is what ended up happening and we knew if that happened uh, we've talked a lot this year about Dal getting Dalvin Cook involved in the pass game. No better time to do that than when he is one-on-one -on, -one on this defender right here and we know Kirk's going to be dialed into this thing. Uh, we know exactly we've run this a few times now Vikings fans will recognize we'll free release the back and have him just run a simple out cut right there. And as this plays, we're gonna allow Dalvin to basically run a double move off that, which will allow him to go to the back corner of the end zone. And then just watch the elite level accuracy that Kirk throws this ball with, with a little push in his face. And then let's not forget, this is a running back now, maybe getting uh, interfered with, kind of a theme of the day a little bit there, uh, but ultimately fighting through that contact and making a huge catch right here. So can't say enough about the throw, the catch, and when you look at it from the end zone, uh, you'll see exactly kind of what I'm talking about. This defender will have eyes on TJ. You'll essentially have two guys doubling him. That allows Dalvin to then run that route right to the back pylon. And then there's Kirk like he did so much with a little push. Ezra's fighting the good fight, good defensive front. These guys yes. have wrecked havoc on almost everybody they played this year. We knew that going into it, but these, these critical downs where you got to ask your guys to be at their best when it's required. It starts with the quarterback, but Ezra holding up just enough where Kirk can get this ball lofted and thrown to the back pylon. And then let's just take a look at the catch one more time. Huge moment in the football game. Yeah, Dalvin Cook coming out of the backfield. We can't wait to see what's next for this offense, and we will get to see it in Buffalo this Sunday.